if you look up at the universe, it's all dark. And the little tiny lights, the stars are rare, right? So the whole universe, the power of darkness is the power of creation. It's the power of the void that basically when we can relax into the darkness where we don't have to see with our eyes, we see with our heart, we see with our soul, and we stay present. The, the power of creation, the power of love, the power with capital P is available there. And so we are invited over the next few days, really weeks, to harness that power. <music> Hello everyone, Dr. Katka here for our December invitation. How are you? The year is almost over. What a tremendous 2022, yes? Mm. Very important part for month of December is to take a moment and recap how the year has been. Remember, we always focus, or we're taught to focus on things that haven't gone so well, the things that we might have messed up and made a mistake and kind of find grief and upset and worry about it. You know, if I've only done that a few months ago, I would have been over there. Yes, maybe, and maybe not. So the invitation for month of December in the midst of preparation, putting up Christmas lights, putting up Christmas trees. I don't know where you are watching this from, but I hope you get the most amazing... I love lights, yeah? So even though we don't have snow here in Arizona, we have tremendous Christmas lights. People take time to put up some fantastic shows, really and um, I'm truly grateful for that. And thank you for the spirit of Christmas. And it's important that we take some time. I invite us to take some time to recap in a way. Wow, how far have I come? Okay, yeah, I have, I have really accomplished this. I have become more conscious. I have become more aware. I have, you know, I have done this for that person. I have done that. I watched this amazing YouTube channel from a lady that literally died and had a near-death experience and then chose to come back for her children. And she said it was remarkable. She saw every moment of her life where she could have made this choice and that choice and just, there was no judgment from none of the beings that she watched it from. There was no judgment. There was no judgment from herself, which was really a beautiful thing for her, she shared. And the most important piece she wanted us to hear is the tiniest little things have made such a ripple effect in the life of the person that she affected and then many others whether it was, you know, helping somebody in the supermarket, whether it's smiling at somebody. And we never know who we're going to meet. We never know where they're at. And we never really know how us being in our heart and with a smile and with a presence. Hi, how are you? What can I do for you today? Can I help you? You know, yeah, why don't you come on? You know, you have five things in your card. I have, you know, 25 Go first. I was, I don't know where I was. Oh, it was a beautiful trip to Olympic Peninsula. I shared that with you in one of the other videos. I went, I witnessed the community. It was the natives. It was so well preserved, the natives. You know, I just felt so inspired to just pay for like, whoever the next person behind me is, I'm just going to pay because, because I felt inspired. I can and they looked at me like, oh my God, no, you can't do that. It's going to be like 50 or $60. It's going to be a lot of money. And I said, you know, if you are comfortable, let me, because it would just bring me um, a lot of joy. 
And that guy, he was a young man, and he was, looked like he was shopping for his family, you know. And I didn't know the impact it has made, but I suspect in the, like, like it was hard for him to say yes, but it was a big deal for him to receive that. Like, it, it made a, a difference for him. And I think it made a difference for his family because it's nice to enjoy something that you're given as a gift. And in that moment, it was just a passing moment. And I suspect that the ripple effect into his whole family, I don't know, could have been 5, 10, 20 people, um, was big. So I want us to find these moments and go, yeah, you know, it's okay. Yeah, okay, I have done great. And it's not like from the ego, like, oh, I'm a good person and Ooh, you know, like pet me and give me medals. None of that. It's more like, let's celebrate us. Remember, it is, there is more darkness on at least the Northern Hemisphere. So we have much longer night. And that means when we wake up in the morning, there's still dark. And there's dark for many hours before we go to sleep. The invitation is use the power of the darkness. And what I mean by that, those days that are coming in December around Christmas and really starting out on December 1st and December 21st and definitely the Christmas time and all into January, so the whole month. We have less sunlight, but we have more dark light. And what I mean by that, the universe, if you look up at the universe, it's all dark. And the little tiny lights, the stars are rare, right? So the whole universe, the power of darkness is the power of creation. It's the power of the void that basically when we can relax into the darkness where we don't have to see with our eyes, we see with our heart, we see with our soul, and we stay present. The, the power of creation, the power of love, the power with capital P is available there. And so we are invited over the next few days, really weeks, to harness that power and understand that when the sun does go down it is it is of the highest interest for us to be in darkness means turn off the turn off the light whether you can take a top in the darkness whether you can meditate in as much darkness as you can or put you know um eye covers on you to really what happens with the darkness, the body starts feeling the presence of basically the creation that comes from the void, from the nothingness, from the darkness. And we have been taught to run away from it. You know, the more daylight we have, the more work we can do, the more we can stay on our computer, the more posts we can do, the more videos we can make, the more work I can get done. And then there's the TV and then boom, I go to sleep which what happens during the sleep, and I share that in our soul cleanse, the most important part is, yes, the body does rest for sure. And it also, the mind really comes down to a point of, you know, delta, theta waves. Our being is basically enveloped in the presence of this darkness, of this void. I think it's so special to start bringing it into our consciousness, to start bringing this information into our daily life, especially now with recapitulating the whole year truly of tremendous power and completing it and then coming back into a new year of 2023 with more presence, with more love, with more connection and understanding of the human spirit, 
and that we as humans are really these powerful, beautiful divine spirits doing our best to bring the experience of love and creation into this amazing planet. So I wish you the most amazing and powerful month of December. And I invite you to start harnessing the power of darkness and the power of the holidays. Enjoy. Take care.